Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to talk about what's new in Cinema 4D Release 20. Now, Release 20 has just been released this early September, and there's been a lot of exciting upgrades to this version compared to R19. I'm going to just go through just some brief overview of some of the new things that uh, Cinema 4D that Maxon has made for Cinema 4D R20. So one of the things that I was very excited about is the node-based materials. Now you're going to notice, and I should point out that you'll see this yellow that's on a lot of the menus and a lot of little components here. What this just means is that these are the new updates that are for this version. So these are just highlights. You can always turn that off within the preferences and you can turn that off if you go to preferences and that you can come over here where it says highlight features, you can just turn that off. So the node-based material is a pretty interesting thing because I've always had a little bit of a trouble with materials with Cinema 4D, and I think this might clear up a few different areas that might make it a little bit easier. From what I understand, Maxon is going through a process of, of upgrading this even more in future releases. Currently, Cinema 4D node-based materials will be only be able to be rendered within uh, Cinema 4D. So if you have an, another render engine such as Octane or Arnold or Redshift, um, those will not work within uh, those render engines from what I understand. So that just keep that in mind. Now we have a few new materials. So if you go to Create in your Materials Manager, you're going to see that we have new Uber material new node-based material, or node material, and then node materials. Now this is node materials, you're going to get a bunch of different presets, which is pretty cool. You can kind of start off by clicking on one of these options, I'm going to use car paint, and then I'm going to double click within the material manager, I'm going to double click on the material, and you're going to see down here where we have this little button called node editor. So if I click on that, you see this new node editor pops up very quickly. And you can see that now that we have this editor, if you've ever used Expresso to add in some more functionality to your Cinema 4D, you're going to notice that this is going to be very similar. And what's really nice is that you can, it, it works in a very similar way because you can move this around and it's the same type of controls if you want to zoom out, you use your two button, uh, number two bu uh, keyboard button, or one to pan around, and you can zoom in. And you also have this little box down here in the right hand corner. If you ever get sort of, um, or thing is, is getting cut off, you can kind of see this little box will help you navigate when you get pretty um, when you have some pretty large amount of boxes and different nodes. Uh, this is something that I really like compared to when I was using Expresso. So you can see that we have some a lot of things that you would remember from your materials from previous versions and you can see that we have our tabs up here, our basic, our base and we have our various tabs here for like illumination or gloss. So some of these are going to be pretty familiar to you. Now, if I come down here, you can see that we have this new Uber material. Now this kind of gives you, this kind of starts off, if you want to start from scratch, you can use this new Uber material in order to start adding in some of the more uh, other channels that you might have within 
the material manager, such as uh, reflection, you want to add in maybe transparency, and you have opacity. So you, you have these options that you can add in, but the new Uber material will give you a way to just kind of start from a, a base scratch, uh, from scratch node material. So it's pretty cool that Maxon is giving you some presets in order to work with right off the bat. And you can have a lot of fun by just by opening these up and just start working within them. Let me close the node base material. And if I go to my other ones, you can see we have ceramic concrete and you can kind of go through each one of these if you want and see what works best for you and it also gives you a way to kind of taking a look at each individual uh, preset that they have here and kind of looking at, at the nodes and kind of getting an understanding of how this might work so that's node-based materials, and I'm going to go into depth um, as I start working through this and start learning this on my own as well, and start giving uh, some more tutorials on how to make some of these materials. But it's very exciting. I'm very excited to jump in and start working with these and start making my own uh, materials. And as I go through and uh, experiment, I'll give you some best practices and things that I've picked up and little tips that I've picked up. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I made so far at astronomicskills.com. Also, I created a Udemy course for beginner 3D modeling in Cinema 4D. I would value your opinion and if you could take a look at it and review it, I would really appreciate it. Thank you.